rich life, as y'all can see. Beautiful area, what y'all seen. So we asked a couple of people that's from the area, um, that's from the area, what's kind of the best breakfast restaurant. The young lady at the rental car place told me that there's a lot of restaurants and things in the area, but it seemed like we had a lot of places that does um, like um, brunch, lunch, and they have dinner places. But the young, one of the locals recommended this place called the Flying Biscuit Cafe. The Flying Biscuit Cafe, he said one, this is one of the popular places in the area for breakfast. So we finna go in here and y'all coming with me. Y'all coming to eat with me. Let's go. I'm telling you, you want to sit at the bar? Thank you, I appreciate it. So, we've been seated. The wait wasn't long at all. Um, they said this is one of the pretty popular places in the area, but we actually didn't wait at, have to wait long at all. Um, beautiful atmosphere, beautiful restaurant. A uh, cafe, I guess you would call it. Um, I like the little graffiti on the wall. This is a very cool place. Very love, Greenville. Highly recommend it. I guess y'all see I recommend everything. I don't have nothing negative to say about Noel. I guess I don't have nothing to say negative because your boy do his research. And one place he did. Hmm. I ain't gonna say that. Yeah. She said one place I did. I don't remember that. Yeah. Now, um, I don't remember that. So, y'all remember. Y'all remember the soft shell crab? Oh, Key West. I forgot about what was a Key West, the soft shell crab, but don't tell nobody. <laughs> so the menu look very delicious. So I'm gonna show y'all menu real quick, and then um we go wait for the beast, wait for our waiter to come. So that's the menu. So I think I already seen what I'm gonna get from off the menu. You know your boy loves grits, cause I'm from the South. Love grits, so I think I'm gonna be getting the shrimp and grits. I'm gonna ask the waiter what she recommend. Um, so we gonna see what happens. Y'all stay with me. All right, Dr. Ricks, I got an opportunity to meet the owner of this beautiful restaurant or cafe, I guess you would call it. And um, she's gonna run down one of the specials for us. So y'all stay with me. She got a super, super great story. I'm gonna kind of give y'all a rundown of the story too as well later. But we're gonna get the special and then I'll be back with y'all. So every month we do um, a sweet and a savory special. And for the month of June, our sweet is a strawberry shortcake stuffed waffles to die for. Um, and then our savory is a mac and cheese stuffed waffle with a bacon reduction and cheddar okay, cheese geez. on top. Well, my son helps me run this location and he says it's the best thing he's ever tasted again. Mac and cheese stuff waffles. Yes. Because, I, I mean, we make, we homemake our mac and cheese. And so it's stuff I'm a mac and cheese man. Well, I, it sounds like you might need to try that. Maybe you can get it as an appetizer and then you guys still get an entree. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get that as an appetizer okay. and then we're, I'm going to get the shrimp and grits. I get the full order of shrimp and grits. Wait, do you have a smaller portion? We do. We have a starter. That's what and I'm it's in a medium size bowl and then we have the large. Give me the starter. That's good. That's yeah, starters, that's good. That's right, good. We got a long trip. I gotta eat light. <laughs> you gonna get a food coma when you leave here. I'm gonna eat what? A food coma. Oh. <laughs> you gotta slow that down. <laughs> you said you gonna get a food coma. All right. So we got some very good information. Very good information. So she recommended the um, stuffed macaroni, stuffed waffles, macaroni and cheese stuffed waffle. I ain't never heard nothing like that. Never heard of anything like that. So, um, so we're gonna order the smaller portion of the stuffed waffle with the mac and cheese. You know your boy love the mac and cheese, so that's what we're gonna order. We're gonna order that, and then we're gonna also order the um, shrimp and grits. The smaller portion of shrimp and grits. That's what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna try to eat a little light because I got an hour and a half trip to North Carolina. And then I'm gonna go further east. So we got, that's about two hours. So I got about four hours worth of driving to do. So stay with your boy. I'm gonna definitely bring y'all in when I get my food out. So I done ordered already. I done told you what I got. So stay with your boy when I bring in this food. So we gonna see what's going on. 
so stuff waffle just came out and guess what looks very good looks very very good let me get y'all a picture let me show y'all what's good so me and my wife we go ahead and knock this off real quick and then we go wait for our shrimp and grits and after that we'll be on the way we'll be on the road so y'all stay with me macaroni inside of a waffle come on now come on with bacon on top can't go wrong with bacon savory she did that she's the one who did that <laughs> she did that this is very good this is very good very good got a couple of jalapenos on top to give you a little bite the bacon, um, bacon, sauteed, um, sauteed onions. I'm talking about everything, just a perfect marriage. Micro and cheese, I told y'all about the mac and cheese. Perfect marriage. <coughs> so, the, so the miniature shrimp and grits that came out too. I'm thinking about taking the shrimp and grits home, or taking it to go with me so I could finish these waffles. It's macaroni and cheese waffles, but um, they highly recommend I take a shrimp and grits, so I might take a little bite of it, and then finish this waffle, cause this waffle off the chain. Let me show y'all, give y'all a visual of what's going on. Venus couldn't wait till I get the picture. She done started eating her grits already. <laughs> So again, that was a miniature. They have larger bowls of the shrimps and grits, but I got the miniature because I'm doing these waffles. And of course, I, got, I still got a long day ahead of me, a whole long weekend, actually. So um, let me finish this up, do my wrap up, tell y'all about the information that the owner gave me about the, during the pandemic. Definitely want to share y'all story with y'all. Wish I had recorded her sharing her story, but she said I can talk to y'all about it as well. So be back with y'all in a few minutes and uh, let me go ahead and finish this. Got them buttermilk, got them buttermilk biscuits too biscuits like your mom used to make. So let's see what's going on.